Welcome to my playthrough. Today we're playing uh, The Wolf Among Us um, episode 2 because because I have to replay all of it because it did not record. Well it did record but then something happened. I don't know what. So unfortunately So unfortunately, we're going to have to play through the whole thing. Again. Mr. Toad? Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid cur- <laughs> You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. It's not what you might be thinking. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. Interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. <laughs> I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> but he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill one of you. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Holly, you're out of paper towels and uh, they're gonna string me up, baby. That it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that could tell me something about a girl name. Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog. Come sniffing around this place. Rich fucks in the woods need to shake down. Isn't that right, Big B? Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Okay, welcome to my playthrough. Today we're playing The Wolf Among Us, episode 2. Um, I have played this episode before, but for some reason my save file deleted itself. So I'm replaying it, so I'm sorry if my reactions are not going to, they are not going to be the same. But I hope you enjoy my new reactions, because I have not played it in a while. So I hope... You know what I mean. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could use some rest. I'll be better when I find who did this. Which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Bigby. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. You know, I hate to say it, but I don't think you do. Of course. You're... you're right. I can't imagine what you're going through right now. What is it with you cops? Always trying to empathize with people. I know this must be hard for you. Do you? Do you fucking know? Have you had a friend killed and their head left at your fucking doorstep? No, didn't think so. Poor Your nose baby. is bleeding. <gasps> Are you okay? You don't look. 
look so good. Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I just said that. Is there something? What's going on? Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. Please. She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Well, hurry up. What about the picture and the tape? They were t recording me, no? They were recording me. Oh dear. Taking a decapitated head, picture of your, picture of your friend's head. Necessary, but very hard. We found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him, and he hasn't said anything useful. He's working for somebody, and whoever it is wants him snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't necessarily mean they're involved in the murders. But they're involved in some way. If they're investigating the murder as well, then we should at least try and talk to them. I know what you're thinking, Bigby. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really happening. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she, um, give any indication to what she was thinking? When you saw her last, I mean. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was... She just told me to be careful. She was always fond of you, Bigby. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to, have to put an end to this. been two murders in as many days. If we don't unearth our culprit, and soon, there will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Bigby. For Miss White. I got it. He's an angry wolf. That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on, just tell me what I want to know. It will make things a lot less painful for you, in theory. Oh, were you planning on using that? I just thought you really liked rubbing your little sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. 
Sheriff? Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. Who is you were supposed Bluebeard? to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Who is Bluebeard? From what? Um... Hello, Big B. I want From answers, B. D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble thinking of any good ones. Though I'd settled on, how's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? It's been better, but we're not here to talk about me. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. Your brother I wasn't, though. I still have though. questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Let him work. He's got more experience with these kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girls got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living in a little shithole with no air. Especially with this heat wave going on. I'm not fucking around here, D. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. I'm gonna try and do exactly what I did the first time. So that we get the same kind of like Fuck, reaction. Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered, D. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Why? Why are you? Your brother. Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Take your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. Just let me go, all right? I don't have any answers for you. You always carry this much cash. I've got a lot of laundry to do this week. What's it to you? So I don't where's need your brother? Don't Look, need dirty mate, money. I'd like to help. I would, but I can't tell you where he is. Last time I saw him, we split up, and I went to find Faith. I don't know where he is now, but he didn't kill anybody. You went to find Faith's what? Her apartment. I went to her apartment. That's no secret. You saw me. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? Sorry, I can't help you. I'm not saying any more about it. We'll see about... That. <laughs> I'm saving that. Here. Let's yeah, share. Right. Let's share some spit, eh? <laughs> Want to see a trick? Girls to Snow White. This is oh, this is working. This. Come on, Bluebeard, watch me. Come and, on, Dee. What did you want from Faith? And it'll work. Sweet girl like her. Sweet? You think that girl was sweet? She was a fucking thief. Fucking sweet. Faith was plenty of things, but that ain't one of them. I mean, 
You know what she did for a living, right? She stole from you? Not from me. She stole from my boss. Hell, I ain't got nothing worth taking. Your boss? So let's talk about your boss, then. You're gonna get me in trouble, Big B. I can't answer any more of your questions. Of course you can, D. Of course you can. You just carry this around. Always handy that way. It couldn't hurt, I guess. He looks like a toad. Like he looks more like a toad than Toad did. Why don't you just tell me who you're working for? Look, you're not a bad guy, despite what beauty says about you. At least you're not a total bastard anyway. But I just can't give you that information. There's no way beauty would associate with a scumbag like you. What's wrong with me? You're telling me I ain't pretty enough? Yeah. We're real close. You, I you, thought this was supposed slimy. to be a murder investigation, but you're treating this guy like a fucking house guest, Bluebeard. And not getting any answers from him this way. Snow White is dead. One of us. And you're going to let this ignorant shit walk out of here in one piece. Out of my way. I'll show you how it's done. <laughs> what the fuck? What do you think you're doing? Teaching him a lesson. Now pay attention. Stop this right now! You enjoying yourself. Immensely. Ah. Hey -ah. Hey -ah. Uh. Q -Q -Q -Q. Oh. oh my god, who is it? What's going on down here? Dun, dun, dun. Snow. Imposter. Imposter. Episode 2 Smoke and Mirrors That means illusions, everybody. <laughs> what the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. I thought you could control yourself. I thought you were dead. Snow. And that makes it okay? No. I hope it was worth your time. Okay, you, you're gonna have to explain this because I'm really not getting it yet. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help us track down the killer. Or at least to figure out who she is. I should have been there, Snow. I tried calling the business office, but there was no answer. I couldn't find you, or anyone. So I took care of it. Snow? What is it? I'd like to talk to TJ about what he saw. I thought you would. He's waiting upstairs. I just feel like... What is it? 
I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Maybe you should lie low for a while? Until we figure out what's going on. And what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once. I'm and... not yours to lose. Oh, come on, Snow. Even a friend can I'm care. Sorry. I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up, though, so try not to be too... you know... Myself. Right. 